Hey, what's happening, guys? Uh, today I want to talk just a little bit about radio wave propagation, which as a uh, ham radio operator is something that I need to pay attention to if you want to get out there and talk to other people. So um, we're going to talk about that today. Now, right here is our uh, information on radio wave propagation. And what I'm looking at here, these are the uh, A and K indexes. Higher the A, the lower the K, the better off you are. And then if we come down here and we look at the bands, the 80 and 40 band are, are both labeled as good, 30 and 20 are fair. 17 to 15 poor, 12 and 10 are also poor. It says we should have a atmospheric signal noise level of about S1. Now the MUF is the maximum usable frequency. You know, to basically uh, send your signal around the world. Right now, there's no report. Generally, in this area, it's around maybe 10, 15 megahertz at most. So your lower frequencies, which have longer wavelengths, that's what these are here. These are the wavelengths. Like for instance, the 40 meter band is uh, in the 7 megahertz range. The uh, voice range is what uh, for amateur extra 7.125 megahertz to 7.3 megahertz. So that's the range of the 40 meter band. And what 40 meters means is that's how long the actual electromagnetic wave is, around 120 some feet long. Whereas the 10 meter band, which is what, 28 megahertz, I think, pretty sure, 28 megahertz. 10 meter band is about, uh, what, 30 some feet long. Shorter waves don't travel as far as longer waves, especially in bad solar conditions, which is what we have right here. We're in the bottom of the solar cycle. The more sunspots, the better off we are and just right now there aren't any. Now here's the higher bands, 6 meters, 4 meters, these are VHF and you can see there's just, there's nothing there. So in order to kind of experiment with this and play around with this, and basically what I'm looking for are trends. Did some FT8 this morning which is just simply a, a computer controlled digital mode. And what you're seeing here is a report of all the stations that heard my signal coming here from Toronto, Ohio in the last three hours. So if I go to this one right up here, they heard me 12 minutes ago. And they are uh, VE6AO, that's a Canadian station. And he's uh, 2758 kilometers away from my location and he heard me at minus 20 db which is pretty low the ft8 software will go down to minus 24 so these are all the different bands now i didn't do 80 meters because my antenna doesn't really handle 80 meters well and at the end of this video i will show you my setup so let's start with 40 meters. And we're going to look at that over the last three hours. And you can see a pretty good grouping here. I mean, we got as far south here as Mexico City and as far north here as Canada. And if I zoom in, you can see different stations that have reported hearing me. And we can move around on the map and you can look around there. So 40 meters and I'm only doing 30 watts for digital. 40 meters has got me covered for most of North and Central America. Then if we go to 20 meters, let's, let's go to 30 meters, we'll drop down to 30, which is a, a pretty good band as well for me. 30 meters will sometimes get me into Europe, but not this morning. You can see there's my home location. And it's covered the United States, 
nothing down here in Central America. But again, we're up here into Canada, 27.58 away. Same guy heard me on 20 as he did on 40. Or 30. All right, now let's go to 20. 20 is a good band and often used for DXing, which is, um, you know, making contacts with stations far away outside your country. And if you look at that, you can see our spots again. There's me. The furthest west I went is Denver, uh, 1,298 miles. And the furthest south here is in Caracas, Venezuela, 3583 kilometers. But now look, look, just look at this map here. And this is this is what I'm talking about, trends. There's 20 meters. Let me go get 40 meters back. See, 40 meters, I'm getting a better uh, signal to the west of me. We're down here on 20 meters. We're not getting too far west of the Mississippi, but I'm getting a further southward travel. See, did I do 17 meters? Yes, I did 17 meters, and look at this. 17 meters got me into Belgium, 6,433 kilometers away. That's pretty cool. I do 15 meters. No. Nobody heard me on 15 meters. These are just stations reporting. And then I did 10 meters. And again, nobody heard me. So just, you know, I, I think it's pretty cool to look at this and just see the different things. The blue is, is 40 meters. The green is 30 meters. The orangish yellow is 20 meters. And the light pale yellow is uh, 17 meters. So that's kind of interesting. Again, we're at the bottom of this particular solar cycle. And when the solar cycle picks up in a few years, things will get much better. These will all be saying good, and you won't need as much power to go further. So it's kind of challenging right now to make great contacts in uh, this solar cycle. Now, here's another interesting thing, okay? These are all the stations that heard me. Here's all the stations that I heard this morning. Now you see that? Isn't that interesting? I'm hearing as far south as Ecuador, uh, 2,800 miles, and as far east as European Russia, 4,887 miles. And I don't know how well you can see here, but that line is showing the traveling of the radio wave propagation called the Great Circle Route. Very cool. We got Catalonia, Spain, England, Italy, uh, Slovenia, <laughs> Latvia. Unfortunately, these stations were unable to hear me, but I could hear them. A lot of that has to do with the power you're using, and more importantly, the antenna. I learned about the antenna the hard way when I first got my ham radio license. You know, I thought, you know, sticking a wire on a pole would be good enough. And in a good solar cycle, it is good enough. But we are not in a good solar cycle right now, so the antenna is more important than the power. The antenna is everything. So that's all I wanted to say about that. And then I said I would talk to you about equipment I'm using. So let's, I'm gonna move up here. And we'll go over here and give you a look at the new radio in the shop. Let me see if I can uh, shed some light on you. You get a better idea. 
There we go. Now let's see if I can get it to focus better. There we are. So this is the Yesu FT-DX1200. This is a killer radio. I love it. The sound is fantastic. It has a, uh, a band scope feature here, which is really nice because what you can do is you know, just find the peaks. Tune into them and uh, everything works really nice. So yeah, this is the uh, FTDX 1200. Like I said, I just got it. Uh, Ham Radio Outlets having Yesu month, and they had two hundred dollars off on this. And so this is an older rig. It's been, you know, replaced, but this is still a fine radio. Absolutely. So here's the other half of the equation, the antenna. And that's my antenna right there. That is the Gap Challenger DX antenna. It's a 33 foot high multi-band vertical dipole. A really good antenna. Got that from a club member. Had it sitting in his garage. And it works out really well for us, so. It's cold out here. I'm gonna head back in the house. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. That's it, I'm out. Peace.